what you're going to do is open this program called Virtual Dub. Great program. I don't really know how to use it. I just know how to use it for a couple little things. But one thing you can do with it is open up video files and you can export frames, uh, pictures from them. That's just uh, one of the, my favorite things to do. <laughs> so you can just drag, <laughs> drag your cursor through the video. Yeah, I'm clicking and holding it down. So I'm thinking like <laughs> right about uh, <laughs> there is where I want it to start. So go up to edit, click set selection start. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, so <laughs> right about there it says the sl set selection end. So go to edit sex set selection end. So then you've got your little area here. And so I'm I'm just go to the desktop and just create a new folder. Then go to file export image sequence. Make sure the folder that you just created is selected. Um, so make sure the Windows bitmap is selected. And you can pick, like up here, you can pick, uh, I don't worry about that. I usually just click OK. And then it starts making the images and it's already done. So you can close that out now and then open up your folder. And there you go. There's all your images. Now that's a lot of images. You don't need that many for your GIF, which is good because the, every single one of these pictures is, I don't know, probably like 500 uh, kilobytes or something. Let's see. Uh, 400. Still, that's a lot. You want, ideally, you want your GIF to be maybe like 150 or something. That's, that's kind of big anyway. So, now that you've got your pictures, you've, what I usually do is shrink them down to the size that I want them with Photoshop. So we'll do that now. So you just open up Photoshop. Another great program, as most of you know. All right, so I usually just make a batch process. Go to Window Action, make sure it's selected that's what this is right here and just open up any one of those pictures that you just made first one preferably open it up and then click this little button right here make a new action and just let it just be the default name whatever and then do whatever you want to this picture like I'm just gonna sharpen it up once It'll probably look a little better um, and then I'm going to shrink it down. Let's see how many pixels is it. I want it to be about this big. So that looks like it's about one fifth of the size. So go up to image, image size, percent, just put in 20. And then hit that. Cl close it. And then hit stop right here, this little square now you've got a new action that you can run on a whole bunch of pictures so go to automate file and then automate and then batch and then choose the action it, it should be the same one that it just created and go to the folder that you just created and then just make sure save and close is checked and click OK now ideally, if, you, if I'd been smart about this, I wouldn't have had to have it run on all these uh, pictures. I would have already taken out like every, I don't know, every, at least every other one at first because you'll see later, it's not going to use uh, your GIF, your animated GIF doesn't need to use all those different frames. So just to save yourself a little processing time here on this step, uh, just use every other picture. So just to go through and like highlight each every other one and then just delete them and use what's left over so that's done okay so here's flash open go to file new 
import to stage and find your folder and click open and it'll ask you if you want to import all of them just say no what you're trying to do now is figure out how big it is so you just take note of how big it is down here you can see it it says it's 92 by 59 so then just click on the background here make the make the actual canvas for the flash movie the same size as the picture and you see that it's way the hell over there so you want to move your so that what you're trying to do is get it so that next time it imports it it imports it perfectly right there so go to window library delete it and then import it again back in yeah you make sure you import it to the stage not the or yeah the stage not the library that was import to stage no and it's almost right on so just go like this a little and then delete it again and make sure it's right there's probably an easier way to do this but this is just how I do it so alright now that it's perfectly lined up now you can just import all of them so just do the same thing just click on one again and it'll ask if you want to import it just say yes now it'll import all of them and there we go so what you want to do is go just select every other frame by holding down control and just clicking and this is uh, what you should have already done before you ran Photoshop but whatever okay so now you've got half the frames I'm not even sure if you need that many how about like going with every other one again so now you're using a quarter of the frames and then click right click and click remove And then maybe we'll just add a key. I was thinking maybe we could reverse it so that it goes back to the starting position again. Yeah, maybe we will do that. That looks kind of cool, actually. So just highlight all of them. Click Copy Frames after right-clicking. Right-click and click Copy Frames. Then go over here, click Insert Layer. You don't have to do it on a new layer, but it makes it easier to see what you're doing. Then right-click after the end of the last frame. Click Convert to Blank Keyframes right click that cell and click paste so now you've got it, two of them basically but now just select all of these right here right click click reverse frames so now what will happen is they'll just come back alright now that you're done they'll just go to file export export movie animated gif biker save it to your desktop there just the default setting is the way you want to go. And uh, there you go. And the file is 84 kilobytes. Not too bad.